One of the things that's really interesting is that you manage billions of dollars. You've been doing this for quite a long time, very successful at doing so. You don't normally strike people from the crypto community as why would Anthony Scaramucci and Skybridge be participating here? And when I talk to you, I think that you see kind of the writing on the wall, right? The world is shifting to this new digital economy. And it feels like, uh, based on what I know, that you're taking Skybridge and kind of slowly starting to say, hey, look, we want to include this in kind of the aperture of what we look at. Is there a world where Skybridge ever goes all in? on Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies? Or do you think I, that having I'm, a parallel strategy is, and, is kind of the winning strategy? And I'm, and I'm as in as you can be. <laughs> at, you know, I'm gonna be 58 years old in January. I'm pretty in, right? <laughs> I mean, I got a billion dollars of this stuff uh, and I've legged in, I've got a, a, a uh, ETF. Those are for my fuddy-duddy friends. You remember there's FUD, which is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And then you've got fuddy-duddies, which are these old people that won't own Bitcoin. I created Crypt for them, CRPT trades on the New York Stock Exchange, it's a crypto proxy effectively. It's, you know, micro strategy and Coinbase and Marathon. And so it has unbelievable correlation to Bitcoin. Um, I've raised an Ethereum fund. Uh, I think, you know, I have an investment in Algorand, which I think is a fascinating technical property, uh, but I'm all in. We've got almost a billion dollars in Bitcoin. Uh, I wrote a book. And again, Anthony, this is an international bestseller. And if you don't believe me, you can come into my warehouse back here at Skybridge, where I've bought every share or every book to make sure it was. <laughs> and, you know, it's, yeah, right? I mean, come on. No one's ever bought one of my books. So I'll tell your listeners uh, my email. OK, OK. It's a scaramucci at skybridge.com. If you want a copy of the book, you're listening to the Pops podcast. I'll mail you one. A scaramucci at skybridge.com. It's a short little pamphlet, but it'll explain it to your parents, okay? It'll explain to your parents what it is. And the subtitle is how I stop worrying about cryptocurrency, and you should too. So I'm all in it. Uh, it took me longer than you because I'm an institutionalist. I said to you in our first podcast, 100 million wallets, a place where I can store it and not worry about it yep. because I'm going to be in deep you know, with nine figures, if not 10 figures. And then the third thing is, what's the regulatory landscape? Is the United States going to accept this? And so last year, right around this time, all three of those things seemed like they were going to happen. Uh, and so then we started buying those coins and we're in. And I expect our business to continue to morph into more digital assets. But you asked me a really good question that I want to answer. How does an old fart like me see it? And the answer to that is I have to listen to young farts like the three of you. And, and I think we make a very big mistake generationally if we're not listening to each other. Like you guys could avail yourself to my experience dealing with volatile markets, dealing with the ups and downs of entrepreneurship, the humbling nature of life. Like if you're having a bad day, think of my ass getting fired from the White House in July of 19. You know, July of 2017, July 31st, as an example, right? And so you can learn from me in terms of how to roll with the punches and bounce when you need to, but I can learn from you where the future is going because you and your team, the best business show, Anthony Pompliano, you guys are creating the future that my children and grandchildren are going to live in. And if I close my mind to that, if I act like the 97-year-old Charlie Munger and I say, oh, it's the worst thing that's ever happened in civilization, that means I've lost my neuroplasticity and I've lost my ability to adapt and learn. So my message to everybody listening, everybody watching you, we can learn from each other. Let's not close our minds and reconfirm our biases. Let's open our minds and let's test our theories on each other. And, you know, I, I, I want to say thank you to you. I was with Michael Saylor yesterday. I thanked him. I want to say thank you to you. Um, you were very influential in helping me see what was going on in the blockchain and, and, and in Bitcoin. I, well, I appreciate it. You, you taught me plenty. Don't you worry. I, I should be thanking you, not, me, uh, not you thanking me.